You're listening to the most seductive soundtrack in the atmosphere, the Sun Lounge, with Kieran A. Take It Back, a track from Nikki Canada's debut CD, 2012, melodically soulful, as I told you before. Welcome back, Nikki. Yes. <laughs> your energy is so beautiful in your music. I just have to let you know. Thank um, you. So the debut album is called 2012. Uh, mm-hmm. Does that stand for a year or something? What, what What's in the name? Originally, the album was going to be called 2011, and we had gotten so uh, far behind as far as uh, the mm-hmm. release of the album that I said, you know, I didn't want to name it 2011 because it would have been outdated. So um, we bumped it up to 2012, mm-hmm. um, and then we released it late September of 2011. Mm-hmm. Um, but still, yet yeah, even uh, with the 2012, you know, with this album, this was just more of a, it was an accomplishment for me. Mm-hmm. It went back to the whole dream, you mm-hmm. know. This is what I've been dreaming about. This was some. This was a yes. goal that I set, and with hard work, I made it happen. Wow, you know, and that's yes, what you that did. Uh, represented for me. Yes, uh, with that particular album, yes, you know, when did. I finished it though, I cried. I won't lie because you know it was something that oh, I, yeah. had, because well, I had recorded everything on my own, mm-hmm. and uh, it was a, it was it was hard work for me. It was an forever. incredible accomplishment, and you know, not to get really like spooky deep about it, but 2012 was supposed to be the year that everything was supposed to end, and uh, right. you know, there was a lot. <laughs> Kind of spiritually connected to um, uh, that year. And, you know, I, I looked at the entire year as it was the end of certain things and new beginnings for others. And mm-hmm. for what you set out to do and see it happen and birth and manifest into your reality is, is uh, you know, right on time, in my opinion. I think 2012 is appropriate for the album. Um, I wanted to... Uh, play some of it or share some of it with the Satin sure. Lounge, if that's okay with you. Can I do that? Yes. Satin Lounge, listen uh, to these soulful tracks. You already heard one of them, but listen to the jazzy influences of Bo Ass. I like the way you take your time and articulate like every phrase in your music. I mean, it it, oh. it kind of you know I, I I hope it's a compliment. It reminds me of Jill Scott how she kind of just kind of talks through the yeah. melody and the lyric. Same talking. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Boaz is a that's a, a biblical reference, isn't it? It is. Well, you know what? Originally, I wrote the I wrote the song. Honestly, it was written for my husband. Uh-huh. Okay, and what I would do was that before it was in production or before music was ever put to it, I would mm-hmm. sing it to him all the time, and he was oh, like, beautiful. "Oh, Nikki, he was like, there you go again." Because <laughs> I'm, I'm a goof off, okay. You know? and, mm-hmm. But I would sing it, and I would stand, and I would dance around, mm-hmm. and he'd be like, "Here you go again." Oh. And I said, "This song is going to be on my album one day." Mm-hmm. And I'm like, oh, "Okay, you know." Mm-hmm. And um, I would sing a cappella when I would do shows, and I would have women come up to me and say, "Hey, you know, can I get that?" Can I get that that song? That Boaz. Boaz. Let me get that Boaz joint right there. Yeah, and I did, and I didn't have it. And I said, okay, you gotta you have to stop singing the song. You can't you can't sing it anymore because <sighs> people want it. People want it. They can't purchase it. So um, I decided to produ- have it produced for the the album. Oh, and. Um, and there was a lot of people that yeah. took to it. What a beautiful song for your husband. He's a lucky, lucky, lucky dude. <laughs> <laughs> this is called Selah. You got me pondering, I'm wondering about the things I've heard. Believe a word. Selah. Selah. You got me pondering, I'm wondering about the things I've heard. Selah means amen. I know that much. 
Uh, yes. Uh, see? And some would say it with me, you know, so let it be done. Let it be, yeah, or amen. what will be, yeah, will amen. be, or what is it? it? It is amen. It is let it be, or it is so. It is so. That's yes. it. I knew I'd find it. It is so. <laughs> My mother yes. said it is so quite a bit. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> it is so. So there are a lot of gospel references on, on this album, on your debut album, 2012. Like how you uh, blended it with the jazz Sometimes if you have a really strong music palette, the presentation is is important. I think you were very clever in doing that. Um, oh, thank you. That was one of my favorite pieces on the album. Say love. Yeah. So what are you saying it is so for? Uh, amen to well, what? Well, you know, everybody, I believe everybody has their own spiritual path. And along my mm-hmm. spiritual journey, you know, I have... Um, I found God to be different. Mm. I view God in a different way. You know, I grew up in a very religious home. Mm -hmm. And along my particular journey, um, say a lot to me, for me, it killed religion. Mm. Yes. It killed religion and... Um, and brought in spirituality or relationship. Exactly. Mm-hmm. That's what Selah was for me. Wow. Yeah. Um, I, I think religion, I, at least to be very frank, in the in the um, African American culture, the religion uh-huh. a lot of times kills the spirit of a person uh, if it's uh-huh. not balanced. I should say. And I think I, totally spirit, agree. I know it's it's been tough for me growing up religious as well and finding my own path. But I believe that uh, that my relationship um, and say, my, for instance, my mother's relationship are both necessary because they're all sides of who God is, you know, because exactly. uh, I would be putting her in a box saying you got to do it like me. You know, exactly. it's just uh, a matter of expression. And I think that the way chocolate ice cream tastes to me does not taste the same with everyone else. And I think God exactly. is experiencing chocolate ice cream through my right. palate a little different. That's all. <laughs> and, that, and to me, that really sums up Selah for me. Say la, yeah. girl. It, it is. <laughs> so, it is so. This last track here I want to play a snippet is called Butterfly. talking to or about the butterfly that i'm referring to is everyone who's who's tuned in tonight on the satin lounge wow everybody's listening right now you're a butterfly Mm. it's a metamorphosis Uh that we go through in life i love that and um like i said you know i believe that the great i am we were all born with gifts Mm -hmm. talents and abilities Mm -hmm. and so therefore um, I believe that we are in this earth to display those gifts, talents, and abilities. Colors. Maybe that's what makes the yeah. world go round. Mm-hmm. You know? Yes. Um, Show your leaves, so, your beautiful colors. I hear you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I encourage people. I love to see people follow their dreams, you know, release their greatness, mm. you know, wh- wh- whatever it is, you know. Yeah. You've always wanted to be that school teacher, be the best school teacher you ever did you dream of being. Yes, we need you. Know, you know, um, so that to me is that, it's that butterfly that's flying away that's, uh, I love that's it. Uh, displaying the greatness. There's a quote I say often is,